Hi guys, and welcome to another video. In today's video, we're going to be going over my own personal little planet air and sketch kit. Uh, this is the kit that I have been taking in the car with me on the go. Um, it would also be a great kit for taking with your regular plein air painting setup as well. So the first item I'm going to show you guys is my pencil case. This is a standard size pencil case. It's about five inches wide. I'm not sure the length, um, but it holds an average size pencil easily. This case has a zipper and also a nice little clear pocket and some pencil elastics inside. The next and most important piece of this kit, of course, is the sketchbook. Now I just got this little Strathmore sketchbook. It's really small. It's like four by five and a half inches or so. Um, but it's a wonderful size to take with you. It's basically pocket sized. And I have just been enjoying the paper quality on this. As you can see, I've swatched a few of my pencils on this. Um, and this sketchbook has really served me well so far. Right now, the only things I have in it are some car sketches of landscapes that I did in one to two minutes as a little warm up exercise while I was bored in the car. Um, but eventually, I'd like to make this a sketchbook size that I use for thumbnails. Um, I did some eye doodles in this as well. It it's a perfect size, in my opinion, to take plein air painting because it's a nice small size, it's really portable, and I could take the whole kit with me if I really wanted to. The next item I want to show you guys is my all-time favorite eraser. This is the General Tri-Tip Eraser, and this guy has been my best friend forever. I've gone through so many of these. They're just a great all-around eraser. Um, I love the shape because you get a nice corner to them. And as you can see, mine is pretty beat up. Next, I'm going to go over my favorite pencils. So this guy is kind of newer to my collection. These are the Blackwing pencils, and I have the Pearl and the Palomino one, I think. Um, I will link the ones that I have down below. But these guys are awesome they write so smooth the graphite in them is just amazing but they also have this interesting square tipped eraser on them which i really like and it's nice because you can get a nice straight line with that eraser but you can also um, erase wider areas as well and get details with the corner they're also replaceable which makes them awesome this pencil is my workhorse this is a general's Kimberly pencil in 2H. Now it's a harder pencil so some people don't like it but I love it for watercolor line work because it creates a nice even light pencil mark and it's not too hard to erase. Next is one of my new favorites and I mean new new. I've just gotten this little guy maybe a week and a half ago but it has quickly become an essential part of my art practice now <laughs> and that is the Uni Crew Toga 0.5 mechanical pencil. Now I am not a mechanical pencil person, never have been, but this guy is awesome. It has a little rotator in the pencil itself that actually helps to rotate the lead as you're using it, which keeps the point sharp when you need it. It also just feels really great in your hand and has this lovely little eraser um, at the back, which isn't my favorite. I wish it was bigger, um, more like the Blackwing pencil erasers, but it's still nice to have in a mechanical pencil because a lot of them don't even have erasers on them. But I really like the feel of it. It feels nice in my hand. Um, it glides really easily across the paper. And it has a simple HB lead in it um, that comes with it, which you can switch out if you like. These bad boys are another newer edition. Now, I've had these for a couple weeks now, and you might have seen them mentioned in another video somewhere because I've been using them a lot. And these are the Prismacolor Color Race Erasable Colored Pencils. Now these guys are a game changer. I've seen so many YouTubers and illustrators and other artists use them. And I was like, I never understood the hype because it's like, oh, it's a colored pencil. You can erase it, big deal. But it is a big deal because they're awesome. <laughs> I've never been one to do colored line work until recently. And I really enjoyed the playfulness of that. They also make wonderful sketching pencils. I've really liked just using like the light blue color and the brown color just to sketch um, for something different. And for me, it can be a little less intimidating sometimes than putting down a really dark graphite line in my sketchbook. So if you're someone like me and is kind of scared of colors in general, um, I highly recommend these. These are awesome. And I will link the exact one that I got down below. And I got the big sets. I will link a couple other smaller sets if you don't want, you know, 24 colors of these. <laughs> 
Now, of course, with all these pencils, I'm going to need something to sharpen them with. And I like my little Blackwing double-ended pencil sharpener. Uh, this is just a regular manual pencil sharpener. It has a nice little cap to hold shavings in, um, which I really like for this kit because it keeps everything nice and clean. Um, I got it with two extra spare blades, which is really nice. Um, it's just a really nice little pencil sharpener. I've used many other just open-ended stainless steel ones in the past, um, but I definitely prefer this one over it. It creates a nice long tip on the end of the pencils, um, which is my preferred way to sharpen them. Now I know a lot of people like to have other different tools um, in their own kit, so I wanted to include these little guys. These are things that I usually don't take with me, but I do use a lot at home, and that is a big Faber-Castell um, 3B pencil. Um, I really like this, it's much softer, darker lead, um, but it gets some great effects, especially if you're doing gestural drawings. The next item is a favorite that I've had for a very long time and have just rediscovered, and that's a general sketch pencil. It has a rectangular lead, um, which I sharpened with an X-Acto knife um, to get some different shapes, and I have a couple of these and some different textured leads that I've kind of played with over the years. I believe this is a 2B lead, um, but this guy is really cool. If you like more spontaneous lines, it's great. And then finally, this guy is newer to me, and I was really excited when it flamed me in this, so my hands are kind of everywhere. But this is a graph cube, and it's basically a graphite cube. It's a big, long stick of graphite. <laughs> it may not sound like much, but it's actually really exciting and fun to use because um, it, they come in so many different leads. Um, I have a 3B and a 4B and a 2B, I think, in my set. Um, and they're pretty inexpensive for having a giant stick of graphite. And if you've ever done any college level or high school level classes of figure drawing or gesture drawing or anything like that, um, sometimes these can be really helpful over a regular pencil because you can get many different line widths from one item. Alright guys, that concludes my plein air sketch kit video. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like and comment down below and consider subscribing. If you are interested in any of the products that you have seen in this video, I will link down below the same products or if I can't find it, similar products in the description. Um, just so you know, I'm an Amazon affiliate now, which means that if you purchase any of the items through the links below, um, I get a small percentage of that. And every little bit helps, so that would really help me out and it would give you a nice new product to try. As always guys, thank you so much for watching and I'd love to hear your comments and you know, what do you bring with your plein air sketch kit? Leave a comment down below and I'll see you in the next video.